Hey guys, uh, Tyler here from Craft Trade League again, and we're gonna go in depth this time on the bucket uh, group manager and how to add um, different, how to add commands to your players into your game. All right, so I'll provide this a link into the description, and this is a this is the essentials page where uh, you can find all the commands at and the command notes for it. So say like last video I my, one of my favorite commands for builders because I on my other server I have different groups uh, to what I'm to what you can do so I'm going to go into uh, my 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 server folder go my plugins group manager the worlds and the world and this time instead of going to users which if we do check users you will see that I am in there for, like last time and it shows my group but for this we're going to promote myself to owner and we're going to save this and we're going to go over here to groups which is right here and just edit it I will provide a description a link for notepad plus plus in this tutorial okay so what you want to see is uh, now you see you have all your groups here and if you'd like to make another group you uh, I'll show you this. You can just copy the information for a group, like say builder. I'm just gonna copy it, and then right here, or let's see, right here we're gonna hit enter, and then we're gonna hit Control V to paste, and then we're just gonna line everything back up, and uh, let's see, line that up. It's lined up, right? Yep. And you can change the names whoever wants. They like super guy I'm really not sure okay but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that I do I do I do undo 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 all right so now I'm just gonna show you this this would be how to add to your mod moderator group and just to show y'all right here this right here is the inheritance that default has which would be the bucket default and the essential default and the only command they would have would be the command with slash kill to kill themselves and um, so and this is their prefix which I think is the color yellow and can they build they cannot build so the prefix would be I mean the, you'd have false if you would like default to build which isn't really like which you shouldn't do because that's what they automatically spawn as you'd put just you could put true or true yeah true and they would spawn and I'd be able to build sorry uh, lost my train of thought okay so now we're gonna go into the moderator category which was right here and for permissions we're gonna backspace these two brackets until we get to the uh, colon right there and just enter once and then backspace it again Till we're over here, then we're gonna space it out till we're aligned with the other, with these other um, dashes. You're gonna put a dash and then a space. All right. Now what you'd want to do would be load, would be uh, pull up your command reference, and these are all the commands you can do just by showing how to do it. So we're gonna use one of my favorite ones, which is the item command. And uh, which you use slash I, I'll show you how to do it in the game. Alright, so you do the plus button, and then here we have all of the uh, command nodes that you would need. Uh, so the essentials that item allows them access to the command, so we're going to put that in first. You can either copy it or type it in. I, I rather type it in essentials.item, and just hit enter again to add a new command node. And if you notice, if you try to just put a uh, another dash there it's red and it won't work so you have to backspace it again and line it up and then the next one is that we want to use be able for them to create we want them we don't want to the blacklist is items that are like uh... that you can't get like fires not on there chain mails not on there uh... if you want them to allow those spawn that then yes you can All right. And this is items that spawn all, which would be if they could do spawn all and it spawn every item in the game, which would lag your server. So I don't suggest doing that one. And uh, 
this is the item this is slash i in the spawn name so you actually are going to need this so we're going to type this in real quick which is we're going to type this line in right here this line right here so essentials wait essentials uh, dot item I think it is what is it alright so we're going to do this Drag that over here and drag that right here. Okay. So we got to use. Alright, where is it? Where are we on here? Alright, here we go. Essentials dot item spawn dot item slash bracket item name bracket. So then you just added the the prefix that allowed them to use the the item name command so now we're gonna have to add in again the next one which is all right come on load page I want you load okay well come on load up anyway this this allows them to a uh, to spawn the item ID by using the ID name so we're gonna use essentials dot item spawn dot item and okay so now we're going to all right, see. essentials dot item spawn yep dot item right and let's see where's this at let's see here we go dot item dash bracket item id bracket okay uh, now you see you can just see that you can click off of it and see now now that now that it is added into your your group as your moderator group so uh, we're gonna save this okay and we're gonna go we can close out and we're gonna actually gonna go we're gonna run our server again let's go back to our server and we're gonna load up minecraft while we're waiting Right, it's done. We're gonna log in here. And actually, we'll leave this up. Uh, multiplayer. Go to your server, and I will be making a tutorial how to do uh, how to set up your IP. And uh, so I am right now a owner, and I can use the slash item command. So slash i, and then we say we want grass. So it's grass. See, I got grass blocks. 64 grass blocks, but if I promote myself to a moaner, that moaner, <laughs> to a moderator, it's a man since I'm a, let's see, man demote since I am an owner, demote myself down to a moderator, mod. Thanks, I spell it. Nope. Man demote. Stunnings. Moderator. Moderator. What? No, what? You're going to just use the menu add command. Stunnings. Uh, I know why. Stunnings. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Alright, yeah, moderator. Still an owner. Oh, yeah, we have to use. I'm so sorry. Why did I. You have to use man select and select your world really quick. Okay. Man, you add stunnings. Moderate tour. Man, the moot. Stunning.
Oh gosh, this is angering me. Okay, well, we're going to demote myself manually. Save it. We're going to reload the server. Reload. Done. There we go. So now I'm a moderator, but since I was trying to demote myself and I wasn't an op, it wouldn't work. So now we're going to use the slash i command and just show you that we're going to be able to use it. You see, it says we're going to do slash i and so we want stone. You can type in stone or you can do slash i one, which is the ID for stone. And it's completely placeable. And moderators, de by default, can't go into another game mode. It says you don't have access to that command. But you can you can do that. You can add uh, that and the way, just the way I showed you how to use the item spawn in. Alright, so now I'm going to show you if you have any other plugin. So we're going to stop the server. Alright. And say, alright, we're going to quickly find a plugin here. Uh, let's go to the bucket website. Let's go to plugin list here. Alright, so say we're gonna take alright, see what something that would have it. Still was do damage. We're gonna use something like uh sign lift, okay. <sighs> okay, so here we have sign lift and let's look if we can find permissions here we go so here's the permissions that you would need uh this sign sign lift dot the uh asterisk i mean that star or whatever it is asterisk would be able to you use anything you'd want so say you want to add that by default it would go to your owner and i'm not sure if it'd go to your admin so but okay so we're going to go back to our folder and say we download this plugin and put it it put it into our plugins folder and we loaded it so we wanted moderators again to be able to use it so just just to make this quick uh, we're gonna use all right let's see we're just gonna use the the permission node that would give you everything so we do put another dash space and this time it'd be sign lift sign lift dot and then you would hold shift and the 8 key would make the star and then it would allow your moderators to actually use sign lift so you know and then there you go uh, so that's basically how to add permission add permissions to your groups or anything and just to go back through it this is um, alright so to show you default group this would be a I don't know, I'm sorry show you the default spawn default means the spawn you spawn is a default if you were new to the server this is the permissions you would have the inheritance would you would you would inherit from the other groups like builder inherits uh inherits the default and moderator inherits the builder admin and inherits the moderator and the owner uh inherits the admin but its permissions is a star so it had everything you can do anything it needs and uh prefix would be this is the color code and then it and then it'd be this right here and say you changed the i mean this would be the prefix and this would be the the color code and say you change default to like something else you'd have to change it to this you'd have to change it to, to inherit uh what you changed this name to so uh, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. And uh, if you have any more questions, leave me a comment. I will link this to my how to set up group group uh, group manager and your bucket server. All right, peace out.